Many years ago, back when brawl boxes were still the thing, I unlocked my first ever legendary brawler which happened to be Spike. For some time, he was the most OP brawler I had until I eventually got Crow. Regardless, he was a very OP brawler and people to this day still say that he's very powerful. However, I myself haven't really used him in a while. I still have him stuck on level 9 and I don't even have his second gear or hypercharge unlocked. So today I'm just going to upgrade him to level 10. And I'm also going to unlock his second gear in the form of sticky spikes. So with that out of the way, let's see how good he is in solo showdown. So starting off on my first match, as you can see, Spike does some serious damage if his attack manages to connect. It's also surprisingly easy to gain a Supra with only a few attacks needed. But of course, that won't help you if you decide to get cocky and end up getting sliced in half like me. But one other thing that makes Spike dangerous is his attack pattern. So right now I'm using his curveball star power which allows his cactus grenades to move in a curved motion. Which allows me to do this. Personally I enjoy this a lot better than his regular attack pattern because it almost seems like it has much better range. I also found myself hitting my targets a lot more frequently too. That is if Supercell decides not to troll you and disconnect you from the game. When it comes to facing off against tankier brawlers such as Bull, Spike does surprisingly well for himself. Even if you don't have his super unlocked, his DPM is just way too high to handle. Funny enough, this is exactly how I took down the other bull. But I think it's more fun to use your DPM by catching a brawler by surprise. So I really don't have much else to say about Spike. I guess Spike is one of those brawlers that are really fun to play but also really annoying to go up against. And I think that simply comes down to his attack being deadly at almost any range. Not to mention his super can be quite annoying in certain scenarios such as this. So in my opinion, I think Spike is still very powerful to this day. He may not be able to take down every single brawler the same way, but he definitely has more potential than most. Although I haven't used Spike as much as Crow, after today I think I'll change that. Anyways, have a good day.